definitely the hardest physically demanding thing that I've ever done. Put the weight on your right foot, yeah. Being on an elliptical for 14 hours a day is pretty horrible. It's quite the workout. They've made me feel quite nervous going into it. <laughs> like, well, you better be in shape. It's so physically exhausting. It's the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Cry babies. The physicality that the actors that we had to do is real. The key is just to show up as fit as you can possibly be, like do a lot of cardio, eat really well. They all look good and they can fight. Every single one of them has awesome abs. I think that's a requirement. In preparation for the stunt work, the production put us with a weight trainer, and then we did fight training. It has been the most amount of physical exercise that I've done in my life. We did some fighting styles. You know, the street fight combined with martial arts. I have learned so many fight moves. The jabs and, like, the hooks. And I love the uppercuts. <laughs> Renko and I do a pretty extensive stick fighting sequence. Yeah. Yes, yeah, like a sword. Wrinkle had not had a stick in her hand ever in her life, and we had to literally start them from scratch. <laughs> Wrinkle did very well. I was really impressed with her. We spent hours and hours learning this fight. Guillermo wanted something very kind of raw and visceral to juxtapose of that giant robot, you know, monster fights. He wanted something, you know, with no wires and no stuntmen and to feel as real as possible. Uh, that was fantastic. When people see the fight, it's pretty impressive. I'm quite proud of what we did. Shooting inside the Jaeger was difficult. That's the big gimbal set. They're being like shaken and tipped and rings coming down. Signal that is going to like crippling, you know? Ah, you know, back. You're pretty exhausted going through these movements and motions and you're doing take after take. This and tomorrow. Really? Huh? day. Wow. It was very demanding. They just feel the surge of neural pain. Ah! And every time we put them in the cockpit, they would come out trembling and looking for the sunlight. We're breaking in these things. And I know Rinko, she doesn't moan. She's a warrior. She was super hardcore, never complained, never said one thing, always smiling, ready to stay there for hours. So go figure that one.